for you to tell me what you want Tell me, tell me that you need me I've been waiting all night for you too I've been waiting all night for you to tell me what you want Tell me, tell me that you need me I've been waiting all night for you too Tell me that you want me Yeah Friends, good morning. It's a bit breezy going down this hill. I hope you're all well. It's lovely to see you all. Sunday morning. It's just coming up to 10.30. So myself, Amy, Mark and Becky, we've met up at Cafe Von Two in Leicestershire. And we're just heading out on a 40 mile loop and then back to Cafe Von Two for like, tea and coffee and food and all that kind of goodness it's bloody freezing so we've got <laughs> we've got a 40 mile loop around the Leicestershire countryside and um, it's the first time I've been to Cafe Von 2 I haven't been in there yet we just met up in the car park but it looks really good so I'm excited to show you guys and we can check it out together later on when we get back from the ride Honestly, it's absolutely freezing, but thankfully, I'm dressed for success, as Roxette once sang. I've got me uh, Castelli Alpha Ross jacket on, which has the sewn in gilet. I've got my Yorkshire um, jersey underneath that, with a base layer, plus arm warmers. I've got my neck warmer on got a new cap on from Bello Cyclist. I'll show you that later. I'll give you a better look at the one I wore last week as well because Bello Cyclist do some amazing caps. I've also got my Cobra cycling shorts on friends. Now when I did an unboxing I originally got the XL. I had to return them for the X for the large because the XL were just huge but they feel and look really bloody good. And uh, Becky and Amy are just behind, just there. Morning. <laughs> How are you doing? We're all good. Excellent stuff. It's a bit chilly. It is, very, it is a tad chilly, isn't it? Yeah. But it's I, all good. I'm sure we'll warm up. We actually have made it happen. Yeah. <laughs> the Becky Mark Mark me thing has actually happened. Yeah. After some I failed attempts. Yeah, they they feel really good. They're looking good. Thank you so much. I don't think people realise that they've got that kind of snake print thing going on. No. A bit food wild, are they? Yes. I'll just show you. I don't know if you picked up the pattern, but it's kind of like a snake skin pattern type thing, obviously, with cobra. And I forgot to say, I've got my compression socks on over my leg warmers which is so good it's a lot colder than it was last week when we were in the uh, Cotswolds and I was freezing last week I've been waiting all night for you to tell me tell me that you need me tell me that you want me yeah. Yeah. I've been waiting all night for you to tell me yeah. tell me that you need me Tell me that you want me Tell me that you need me yeah. And tell me that you want me yeah. And tell me that you need me Tell me that you want me yeah. And tell me that you need me yeah. And tell me that you want me yeah. And tell me that you need me and Tell me that you Yeah, yeah, 
So there's that legend, Mr. Smith. He's Morning. Excited. There's he's obviously excited. Becky. <laughs> he's excited for the bridge. Look at it, that bridge. Morning. Morning. That bridge looks epic. How beautiful is that? And there's a lovely church just behind the trees. Stunning architecture. Behind that post, there is a church, <laughs> and then the river. <laughs> Oh, it's beautiful. There's another little bridge over there, look. Oh, yeah. Should we get down to that one as well? <laughs> yeah, I think we should. It's, it's the there? ride... <laughs> the ride of bridges. And I've got a wonky camera. Friends, look at this bridge. This is absolutely beautiful. And then there's the church there. Do you want one on the bridge? Do you want one on the bridge, guys? <laughs> 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 oh, <Matron. laughs> <laughs> Look at the river. Water is so clear. It's beautiful. So there's Amy, Becky and Mark. We've done eight miles so far. It's absolutely beautiful. It's only nine degrees. It feels like a real beautiful autumnal day. I am loving it. And this is the best I've felt all week. I feel so good, I've had a bit of a kidney infection. So I've not been at my best. Although Thursday night on the FCC Swift ride, I did feel really good. But I'm feeling bloody good now, friends, which is always a bonus. Amy's got a new cat eye rear light on which looks fantastic. Yeah, I am loving these Cobra bib shorts. You see that pattern? Absolutely fantastic. Friends, I'll put a link to the Cobra website below. I'm an ambassador for them. With every order placed, if you use my unique code, you get 25% off. Absolutely fantastic. Go check it out, you legends. If, obviously, you haven't already. But anyway, how are you doing? How's your week been? Has it been good? How are the COVID restrictions where you are? Seems to change day by day. I hope you're all safe and well anyway, friends. I'm lagging behind because I'm talking to you. Better catch them up. Oh, I'm on the diverge again. And I've got the Goodyear F1 Eagle tyres on. On the Fulcrum wheel set. I think you'll find they're looking pretty darn sexy. I bloody love them. First run out on the Goodyear Eagle F1s last week in the Cotswolds. 60 miles. Fantastic 28 mil tyres. Really good. Look at this long road. I better crack on. Cooking apples, help yourself. Hey, good morning. Are you? I am really good. <laughs> How are you? Really good. Are you all right? 
Excellent stuff. Oh, I was. Sunday. It's beautiful, isn't it? I was saying earlier, what a beautiful autumnal Sunday morning it is. Oh, the colours, hey? Yeah. Golden and red, yeah, and others are proper green, yeah, no, absolutely. There's not been a dramatic shift of bottom wall, is it? No, I think we've got a car back. Tell me that you want me, yeah. and tell me that you need me. doing cool <laughs> car back oh my days this is so good absolutely loving it so good morning out on the bikes with great friends oh my days there's nothing better so good the sun's not even shining but i'm loving it massive hello to clive clive hope you're good you legend jonathan sapia martin and brenda richie ian Mr. Wayne Keeney, Jez and Tim, John and Charlie, oh my days, so many of you legends, hello to you all, and good morning. How are you doing Mark? I'm good mate, how are you? Excellent stuff. There's a lot of turnings in this route, so yeah. I've got to stay at front, so I'm just going to... No, that's fine, mate. You're the organiser on the Yeah, you're the... <laughs> absolutely. I don't, want to, I don't want you to think I'm being ignorant. No, you are ride leader, my man. Is that a turning up in like 0.8 of a mile? No, no. I'm loving that bridge. Yeah. We're, we're just saying we don't know whether this is part of the viaduct we're going to see. I was just wondering that, yeah. yeah. The, the, the viaduct does look stunning. So, not oh. What a lovely little village this is. Beautiful, isn't it? That must be like an old schoolhouse there, do you think? Oh, On the left? Yeah, yeah, I know. Looks like someone in the there. I can't read the... Um... I, I, you can't, it's a legend. It's an old schoolhouse. Oh, there you go. Look, Corby's only five miles. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> I love it, these houses are beautiful. What's the view like, Debbie? The view over here. Oh, bugger, look at that. Mark, when you come to it, just have some sunshine. I will, mate. I'll see what I can do. That's all we're missing. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Look at that place. Oh, my days. Yeah, it is beautiful, Mark, isn't it? Yeah. It's one of those that we'll come back and do it again, I think. Yeah, definitely. I'm absolutely loving it. The scenery in the lanes, just stunning. Do you know what I mean? Friends, I don't know if you can see it. I don't know if you can see it, but there's the viaduct down there. Oh, how beautiful. Can you see? Lots of lovely sheep. 
Oh no, I haven't got my gravel type on. I've got my Goodyear F1 Eagles. Oh. oh. <laughs> I cannot go off the rough stuff with those. You're not going off the rough stuff, you know? No, no rough stuff for these tyres. Oh, I thought you liked the rough stuff. <laughs> you do realise you bite <laughs> on that gate? Look at that shot, guys. Look at that viaduct. That is absolutely stunning. With the sheep. I know, but then you haven't. You'll be. Can't do. We could do both gateways. Yeah, we could, and we, we come to a bit of a road. Oh. Look at that. Hey, it's fine. <laughs> Are we doing sneak at school? No. <laughs> Look at it, though. It's beautiful. That's so good. Right, I'm just going to have a look at your bikes. So this is Becky's Live Avail. I'll take her a group set. Do you know, like when we were kids in Nottingham, everyone, everyone caught me before. Yeah, yeah. When we were kids, my dad used to put me before. This brake's absolutely beautiful. <laughs> and here is Mark's Ribble. <laughs> it's a Ribble. Mark, is this a CGR, but it's the aluminium? Yeah, CGR AL. I added some Hunt Four Seasons on it. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, and you got the Shrol... Sh I can't say swal it. Swal the Shrol B P. Yeah. I've got those, but not in the tan wall. Yeah. On another wheel. I actually, I got those... Actually, they, they are good tyres, aren't they? Yeah. I originally, when I got the bike and I got the wheels... Yeah. Those tyres came on it. Oh, okay. So they're the tyres I got with the bike. But yeah. Over time, I just swapped them out, swapped, them, swapped the wheels out. Yeah. I love it, mate. What a beautiful bike. It rides really, really nice. Superb. You wanted me to buy a Ribble, didn't you? Yeah. You were disappointed when I bought my lid. <laughs> <laughs> Your mud gods are awesome, mate, as well. They're the SKS? Yeah, they're, um, they're the, what they call the blue melds. Oh, OK. Um, SK, yeah, they've got the little SKS badge on the back. There. Yeah. So they, yeah, because they attach to yeah. the... Um... They basically, they're permanently on. I'd, I'd never take them off. So. Right. I love it, mate. Beautiful. Stunning bike, my man. Thank you. So much. good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. Beautiful. <laughs> Look at these houses. The viaduct was absolutely inspiring and awesome. Oh, just fascinating, huh? Yeah. Oh, I know. In amongst the sheep. Yeah, in amongst the sheep looking through the arches. Les, I know you love a horse. Yeah, horse loving. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. So we're in Rutland. Isn't that magnificent, hey? Look at that. Keep going. 
Keep going, I've got you. Diamond that you need me. Been waiting all night for you to. So we just had a very, very nice, quick tea and coffee stop. Mark, what was that cafe called? Oh, it was, it was down as Spoked, but it's Cheerio or something now. It was called O Cheerio or something, wasn't it? Something like that. Yeah. But I think it was called Spoked before. Right, okay. Yeah, but it was very nice. Had tea and a vegan flapjack. Uh, we've done 18 miles. So we're just setting off now for the second part. Oh, yeah. Bit of a climb coming up, Mark. Yes, I better put my camera away. I'll never get up. Right, Amy, yes. we are both wearing our compression socks. Yep. Thus, there are yours. Thus, there are mine. Uh, yeah. So, can you tell me, I think it's Gerard on the channel commented about the benefits of compression socks. Hey, I'm sure it's Gerard. Gerard. Gerard, if you're watching, <laughs> hello sir, I hope you're good. What are the benefits of wearing compression socks, especially for cycling, during cycling and after cycling? I am not, a, I'm not a huge, like, I'm not like hugely knowledgeable about it, but what I do know is that um, cycling in particular, the benefit is more after yep. um, the activity. Right. Um, less so during the activity. But they are particularly handy for stopping, um, you know, when you get cafe legs during the ride. Yep. But the whole purpose of compression socks is that they um, provide a slight tension yep. uh, around the muscles. Yeah, in this case, it's in your, in your lower leg and it helps increase the circulation to the muscle. The more circulation you have to the muscle, the more oxygen that's available for energy production and the breakdown of any lactate that you might get during any anaerobic phases of exercise. Um, so the compression socks that we have yeah. are sort of the entry level yeah. where they're evenly tensioned throughout the calf and a little less tension on the foot. Yeah. Um, you can get calf only, you can get um, short ones just for your feet. Yep. You can get um, actual tights. Right. Uh, and you can get compression uh, vests and yeah. whatnot. But it is to aid better circulation. And the more you can aid, the, you know, the more you can increase the circulation to the muscle. Yeah. Uh, you have lots of benefits in relation to recovery during the ride and after the ride. Right. Okay. Um. Because you don't want the lactate pull in the muscle? No. And that's what cafe legs basically is. Gotcha. It's a pull in a black tail. So if you know you're coming up to a cafe stop, you want to spin your legs, get the black tail out of your system, yep. get back into an aerobic threshold. And the socks just, they just help with that. They just kind of aid with that, I guess. Yeah, I have very poor circulation in one of my legs and one foot. Yeah. And it just, just aids the recovery of that muscle group. Right, gotcha. So keeping them on when you drive home. Yep. Taking them off when you get home. Yeah. And that covers a bit of stretching. You'll find that your your ability to build muscle and recover is drastically improved. Brilliant. Thank you so much for that, well, friends. If you like sheep, this is the place. <laughs> Hi. Look, look at them all. Oh my goodness. Look at them all. Look. It's like Game of Thrones in sheep form. Yeah. 
Where? A very, a very lucky ram. <laughs> <laughs> They're all coming over from this side. Look at them all for it. They're trying to cross the river. They want to cross. We need to build them a makeshift bridge. Yeah, you Okay, Mark. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, we'll just be over there while you build the bridge. <laughs> Look at them all. They're all coming, they're all coming under the bridge. Yeah, they're from this side as well. Yeah. Bless their hearts. You were waiting outside for me in the sun, laying down to soak it all in before we had to run. I was always ten feet behind. Houses? Yeah. We could uh, run to each other. <laughs> <laughs> like Brian Adams? Yeah, just like Brian Adams. Brilliant. <laughs> Becky Adams. <laughs> Becky Adams. <laughs> She's gonna run to you. Yeah, she is. <laughs> anyway, okay. on that bombshell. <laughs> we are going through some beautiful villages. We've never done this route before. Mark just picked it off a of Strava just uh, pinch someone else's route and it's absolutely spectacular oh, and this route it didn't it's it so look at those I gates yeah I'll tell you what that's a great backdrop oh, for your bike <laughs> 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 Bikes front. Hiya. Yeah. In the car. Oh, the glory of. It all was lost on me till I saw how hard it'd be to reach you. And I was... So, Les, we have found a phone box for you, and this one is special, my friend, because as I open the door, feast your eyes on the baubles. Thank you, Mark. Look at the Christmas baubles, Les, just for you. Absolutely wondrous. It's that time of year. <laughs> it's the season. <laughs> There's some serious jiggery pokery going on there. Oh. <laughs> 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 How lovely. Always be like years. Light years away from you Light years, light years away Keep going mate Awesome job A bit flat round here, Mark <laughs> <laughs> Awesome stuff you legend Brilliant riding you two Awesome stuff. Right, there's Amy. There's Becky. And there's Mark. How you doing? I'm good, yeah, really good. We've got about five miles left. To till, the, till the cafe. cafe. Where we're, we're going to have it large. Our large portions. Large. I like a large portion. Oh, absolutely. Who doesn't? Like a Love a large portion, me. What? I wonder what we can have. We talk roast dinner. Really. Well, only if they've got we're vegan. Vegan roast dinners. Yeah. And how epic that vegan roast you have. Oh yeah, so good. Okay, so good. So yes, friends, we've got about five miles till we get back to the cafe where we started the ride from. 
temperature's 10 degrees, it's 2.25. It's clouded over even more than it was. There's a few more gray clouds about, but uh, the roads have been bone dry. It's been an epic route, really undulating. Never seen so many churches. There's so many churches and beautiful <laughs> villages that we've ridden through. Lots of old school houses. Yeah. Very reminiscent to a certain degree to the Cotswolds. Oh yeah. That's last true. week. Uh, just beautiful, absolutely cracking route. Lovely cafe. Yeah, great cafe stop. So if anyone wants the route, just nick it off of my Strava. It's well worth it's, it. It's yeah, I definitely recommend it. It's got everything. If you like sheep, you're in for a winner. <laughs> Brilliant. I thought I saw your mother last weekend in the park. It could have been anybody. It was after dark. Everyone was lighting up in the shadows Alone You could have been right there next to me And I'd have never known Oh, the glory of it all Was lost on me Till I saw how hard Look at that mammoth hay bale that is a whopper. You alright buddy? Yeah. See the size of this? Oh wow. That's a big one, Mark. Absolutely humongous, isn't it? It is. Be to reach you. And I would always be light years, light years away from you. Light years, light years away. From you, light years, light years away from you. Light years. We're back. <laughs> the Cafe Von Two. Here we are. Was that? That's so cool, wasn't it? You two are smashing it on that last bit. Brilliant. Light years away from you. So that was lovely, awesome cafe. There it is, Cafe Von Two. Guys, thank you so much for a brilliant day, awesome route. We'll have to do it again. Definitely, my man, definitely, definitely. and Becky. Yeah, so good.